Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Eric, and I'd like to introduce you to my new YouTube channel, Micro Adventure Man of Maine. Um, first, a little explanation of what a micro adventure is. Some of you may be aware of the term, some of you may not. I didn't even know what a micro adventure was until I read it in a, um, I think it was either a backpack or an outside magazine article this past summer. And basically, um, micro adventures are adventures in your own backyard. Um, you don't have to go on an exotic vacation and travel to Africa or fly halfway across the country to find adventure. You'd be surprised at what you can find in your own neighborhood. Um, and the reason I want to start this channel is to get people out into their neighborhoods and into their local woods and local hiking trails, biking trails. And you can do the same trail or the same area or do the same thing over and over again, and it'll be a different adventure every time. I've been doing micro adventures for years, um, basically out of necessity. I've been visually impaired um, since birth. I don't drive. Um, so to, and I live in central Maine, and not driving and living in central Maine, if you don't get out and do something and try to stimulate your mind, I guarantee you, you will probably go stark raving mad. Um, so for years, I would either just pick up a local map, <clears throat> pick a spot on the map where there's no trails, and see what's there. Or if it's a spring night and there's going to be peepers out, try and find a location and grab a headlamp and, and just enjoy the night sounds. Um, so that's what my channel is all about. Um, basically, I'm going to drag you poor people on some of my micro adventures. Some of them are going to be exciting. Some of them, they may bore you out of your mind. Um, one thing this will not be is a big, huge gear review channel. Um, what I will do is I'll let you know on my micro adventures how far away from home I've gone, um, whether it was by foot, by bike, by car if my wife is around. Um, she works in Massachusetts, so when she's away is when I go on most of my micro adventures, so I don't go stock reading that and get bored. Um, I do my micro adventures on eight by ATV, which I can leave from my home and access some of the local ATV trails. There's been some interesting stories I'll tell you about on my ATV. Um, via kayak, I'm fortunate enough to live a quarter of a mile from a local lake, so I can actually take my kayak and walk it to the lake and strike off from there. Um, numerous bike trails, hiking trails, small ponds, ruined buildings. Um, Something different every time. Like I said, it's never the same adventure twice. Um, this, Like I said, this won't be a gear review channel. Um, there are so many people out there that do a much better job than I do. Um, I will let you know what I use for equipment or what I'm taking with me on that particular adventure. Um, this channel is going to be filmed with one of two things. It's either going to be the GoPro 3 Plus, which I'm filming with right now, or I also use the um, Olympus Stylus TG3, which has been a great little camera. Um, this camera also does HD video, takes pretty good stills, um, crush proof, waterproof, freeze proof. Um, great little camera. And like I said, I'll be using these two to film 95% of uh, this um, particular channel, uh, Micro Adventure Man of the Main. Once again, get out there, explore stuff in your neighborhood. Um, you'd be surprised at what's out there and what um, adventures or even misadventures you may get into. Um, so, our first one, episode one, is going to be a ATV ride. Probably round trip, it's 10 miles. I'll be accessing the trail directly from my home. And I'm going to be checking out a beaver dam that has, according to the last ATV club meeting, um, has blocked and flooded a section of the ATV trail. Just kind of curious, it's actually on a section of trail that I ride on a lot and it's really going to limit my access to getting out and, and some of the more remote areas of this dam has in fact flooded the trail. So basically today's adventure, um, we're just going to go scope that out, see what the beaver are up to, check out the dam, check out the damage. So our first adventure is going to be called that dam adventure. So, let's get ready, um, we'll gear up, and let's go for a ride. 